After World War I, the U.S. Army realized it needed to modernize their armor for future ground wars. In this regard, they called for submissions of tanks for evaluation. J. Walter Christie's first submission is the M1919 tank, which had an innovative suspension system. This suspension system would be carried through all U.S. tanks into World War II and into the modern era with minor improvements. However, the M1919 tank that Christie submitted was vastly underpowered for its weight. Christie did not give up. His 1921 version was well received by the U.S. Army. The M1919 Christie tank model that you will see in this series of videos is a 3D printed Vargas scale models kit. Louis Vargas supplied this 135th scale model with several others at the 2021 Las Vegas IPMS National. We are using Vargas scale models kits to demonstrate how well our World War I paints adhere to 3D printed and cast resin parts and models. There are not many parts to this 3D printed model. However, it is quite important to point out the supports that are inside the tracks which are quite prevalent in doing 3D printed materials. These will be removed in the next section of this video in the preparation phase. The turret and main gun will also be removed in the next section of this video. Note that the body is one large and heavy 3D printed part. Per Lewis's recommendation, I have prepared a very hot soapy solution and placed the parts in the bath for about 30 minutes. Taking an old toothbrush, I first scrubbed the body vigorously as I do not know what residual materials might be left on the 3D printed body. Rinse the body thoroughly in clean water and then purified water to prevent leaving any minerals from the cleaning because most city water contains minerals. The next part I worked on is the small turret. Taking a standard hobby knife, I pressed the back side of the knife against the fine filaments holding the turret onto the base. However, the main gun is too close to the base. I will have to use a sprue cutter later in the section to remove that piece. The tracks have filaments inside them for support during the 3D printing process. These filaments have to be removed prior to cleaning the tracks with our toothbrush. So, taking the hobby knife, I pressed the back side of the knife against these fine filaments. Be firm, but gentle to prevent breaking the track as it is quite flexible. Please be aware that you should not allow any of these filament supports that you remove from inside the track to go down the drain. Let anything you remove from these 3D printed parts fall into the hot water container. On some of the smaller filaments around the wheels and especially the suspension, I used the knife edge of our trusty hobby knife to cut these off. Because these filaments are so small, using the back of the hobby knife may cause damage to the tracks. After removing all the filaments, wash the tracks with the toothbrush, rinse with clean water, then wash off the sink water with purified water set aside to fully dry. The last parts to wash 
are the steel extensions that cover the tracks, the large turret, the main gun, and the small machine gun that fits in the upper small turret. When you are done with removing all the manufacturing supports and washing up all the parts, decant the soapy water carefully from the wash container and throw out what is left in the bottom of the container. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.